Let's talk about data parallel and zero one. One way of doing parallelism is to simply take your neural network and run it separately on two different machines. This is a natural way to do the forward pass as well as the backward pass, but it gets a bit more complicated when you talk about updating weights. You need to basically keep two copies of your weights around and you need to pass gradients between the different machines so that they can update their copies. However, if you can get around those issues, this is a nice way of doing parallelism. Here we get basically a two times speed up, at least on our forward and backwards pass, but we also have two times the memory. This gets worse as we have more devices and have to keep multiple copies of our entire network. One thing to note is that even though it seems like the weights are the biggest issue, actually the gradients and the optimizer states make things particularly worse. In a standard optimizer like Atom, we're going to need at least two times our weights in order to keep around the optimizer state values. Even worse, unlike other parts of the neural network, this often has to be kept in higher precisions. A lot of modern systems use FP32 for some of these values in order to keep things stable over time. Before we talk about the memory though, let's talk a little bit about how we update multiple copies of our weights. The main idea is going to be to use a collective communication primitive. These are different operations that are built in to the structure of NVIDIA's communication protocols, but also things that can be implemented directly by users. The standard one we'll use for calculating the updates to our weights is known as all reduce. It's a way for several different nodes to communicate with each other while also running a reduction on these values. I'll reduce here, we'll take the values A, B, and C, which are stored on different nodes, then we'll add them together and then pass the added together value to all of the different nodes. This is particularly useful for accumulating all the gradients that were uh, calculated by the backwards passes of all our devices, passing them to each of the machines so that they can do their updates. However, this also still assumes that each machine is keeping around all of the optimizer states necessary to make these updates. In a common system for doing data parallel, known as zero one, we are going to try to reduce the necessary memory for keeping around these optimizer states. Zero one notes that for systems like Atom, most of the memory is going to be coming from keeping these optimizer states, but that they're not actually utilized during the forward and backwards paths, but only during the update. This makes it a natural target to try to actually reduce this memory in practice. The way we're going to do this is by using another collective communication primitive known as all gather. The way this works is that each node is only going to store one shard of the full optimizer state. Every node is going to need the full optimizer state though in order to do its update. 